Dude, I swear it takes forever to log into Call of Duty now. I've thought like 10 minutes in order to actually get into this. Like, is it my internet? I don't even know. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So in today's video, I actually kind of want to try and get the dual sword up to gold. As you guys can see, I have most of my camos 10 out of 10, except for Woodland, which is only 9 out of 10. As you guys can see, I only need 10 more kills while injured. And basically the strat is just to use a Dermite, chuck it down near my feet, get injured a little bit and then rush an enemy. But also I think I might just need to wait around a corner because usually most of the times when you are injured and you do rush an enemy you do end up dying anyway so I do think you just need to wait around corners maybe don't even do the thermite strategy maybe just wait maybe just rush an enemy get them to injure you a little bit and then kill them I don't know it actually may be a pain to get these up to gold but hopefully I should get them done by the end of this video also I have been trying out the bay of pigs and I'm not even gonna lie the bay of pigs has actually been very very nice I mean obviously I didn't really think all these attachments would work but the scope actually isn't that bad especially in hardcore like this thing is a one shot i mean everything out of course a one shot in core it's not really the best but since it is an sks you can't just keep spamming the trigger but i mean this thing actually is kind of a beast and then also with the games of summer they did add in the gun course i haven't actually tried it yet i might actually give it a go after this video but i really hope so as hard as the parkour one i actually did end up getting it to gold which i'm actually very surprised about i actually didn't think i was going to get it to gold but that one was really really difficult but anyways guys before i get into it if you guys please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel show support i appreciate all of it support on the past few videos lately have just been insane thank you guys so much for that i really do appreciate it but anyways guys let's get right into it i feel like it really doesn't matter whether you go on the hardcore or core especially with melee weapons since they are one hit anyway i just choose core just because you have a mini map plus in hardcore people do like the camp a lot which is such a pain like they even camp in shipment sometimes which isn't even possible but they still manage to do it all right i got shipment but i don't know if i want to stay in this lobby or not i got a feeling it would be good to get sword kills while injured but at the same time i'll probably end up dying a lot well this is gonna be fun i feel like the strat with these swords just to throw down a smoke and just run towards enemies even though i need to get kills while injured it's gonna be very difficult See, because by the time I do get injured, I got like two enemies just destroying me you know what i think i just need to constantly run around like there's no other way to do it I can't express how excited I am for Avengers, guys. Like, it comes out in two days. Two days. It started preloading onto my PlayStation this morning. And, dude, I got so excited because it just shows how close it is to the full game's release. Like, oh, my God. I can't wait, dude. I'm going to try and straight grind that on its first day. But it's just going to be so fun, man. Alright, that's a kill I injured. That's only one out of a lot. I feel like it's definitely easier in Shoot House to get these done. Cause at least in shoot house, I'm not spawning in front of enemies. I feel like everyone's running a shotgun in this lobby, dude. Like, by the time I get close to them, I'm getting shotgunned in the face. Like, I can't do anything about it, man. The thing is, it's not like I'm not getting any kills. It's just the fact that I'm not injured while I'm getting kills. And when I do get injured, I'm just getting shotgunned in the face or something. You know one game I'm actually really excited for? Hitman 3. Like, not a lot of information has been revealed about that game, but they did actually put it up for pre-order on the PlayStation Store, which, I mean, I'm very surprised about because I actually wasn't expecting it. But I think it comes out next year. I don't know if it's early next year. I hope it's early next year. But I've always loved the Hitman series. Like, the fact that there's so many different ways to kill your target is actually really, really sick. And also, they did add a VR component to the game. I don't have VR myself, but if you did have VR, it would just make it so much cooler because you could be Agent 47 in Assassin's your targets and it would just be so sick like imagine immersing yourself in the world and pretending to be a hitman like that would be so sick i honestly thought this was going to be easy to get kills or injured on shipment of all maps but i can't because every time i get injured i end up dying before i can even get a kill i felt like that was just a waste of time like it would be so much easier going into shoot house to get these done i don't know why they were so difficult on shipment i got 21 kills and only like one of them was a kill while injured yep only one of them was a kill while injured. Dude, this may be more difficult than I thought. Alright, good. It seems like I got Shoot House, but it's Team Defender, so no. Because Team Defender, everyone just camps. Like, especially on Shoot House, they all just go up to the office and just camp. And it's just not fun because you can't even get in there and get any kills. I mean, there'll be some people running around trying to get kills on the team that has a flag, but your teammates will probably end up killing them first before you get to them. Bro, they really aren't giving me good game modes. Hard point? I mean, I guess I could deal with hard point because you'll have a lot of people in the same area, but on Shoot House, a lot 
other people be jumping from places you don't even know exist. Dude, I really can't wait to make a video on this gun. Like, I really did underestimate it. Like, it's actually so much better than I thought. All right, now you get up to this office area, because that's like the only close quarters area. See, dude, you got people hugging those disgusting corners like that. Like, look at that, dude. So dumb. Dude, I understand that Call of Duty League is on today, but I don't know why people are playing like they're pros. Like, just let me complete my challenges, dude. I don't get it. Oh my god. Dude, all I can think about is this Avengers game. Like, there's so many good things coming out. They've been releasing a lot of blog posts about it. I did say that in yesterday's video, but they did recently release one speaking of the vendors. And you can, like, buy insane gear from vendors. It's just gonna be super sick. The storyline doesn't seem like it's actually gonna be bad. And the fact that they're gonna be adding more heroes as well is gonna make it insane. Dude, I just want these gold swords. Is it too hard to ask? Like, I'm so close, but no one's letting me get it. Like, every time I throw down a Dermite and I get close to an enemy, they end up shooting me. Since I'm only like one shot from death. And if an enemy runs around a corner, I can't just throw a dermite and run towards them because by the time I throw a dermite, they'll know that I'm there. Dude, every time I try to rush them, they just sit there. Like I throw down a smoke so they can't see me. They wait for the smoke to dissipate. Dude, people just shoot blindly into the smoke and expect to hit someone. And of course, I'm the person in the smoke. I actually do feel like I'm getting a lot of kills while injured though, which actually is very nice. But I don't know how close I am to getting gold. I'm just trying to sweat this out, man. <laughs> Good thing that it is hard point, you do have a lot of time to actually try and get kills. But since it is hard point, people like to camp in one area. I feel like it's just way too risky to let the opponents injure you because as soon as I land one bullet, the rest are probably hitting you anyway. Oh, canopy unlocked. Gold unlocked. I'll take it. It did get covered up a little bit by the objective, but I'm leaving that game, dude. I was not actually expecting it right away. I'm more shocked than surprised and happy, dude. Oh my god, I'll take it. So as you guys can see, 10 out of 10 for every single camera category. Man, I'm so happy about that. Of course, you scroll down, one out of four for completionists. Here are the gold dual swords. I don't really know what to think about this. I do love how the blade is gold. It does look very nice and the hilt is black with a little bit of gold running throughout, which I mean, I actually don't mind it. It does look very, very nice. Looks very, very clean like all the other gold cameras. But man, let's hop right into a private match and check these bad boys out. Here are the gold dual swords in game. And I mean, they look pretty, dude. The way the sun hits the gold just makes it look super shiny. Oh man, I actually do like it better in game. I mean, obviously it was such a pain actually getting used to gold. The challenges are more annoying than they are difficult because you do have to suit a certain play style, like just crouch around corners, throwing smokes, charging enemies. Good thing is that it's not too many though. So it's not like 100 kills while enemies near smoke, it's only like 20, 25. So it's not too difficult. And I mean, these dual swords give you an insane amount of range. Obviously, your mobility does take a hit, but it really doesn't matter because these dual swords are just crazy. I mean, I can get obsidian for them now, but yeah, with Cold War coming out very, very soon, I don't even think I'm getting Damascus or gold for all these guns, which is very unfortunate. But you guys know Cold War, I'm going crazy for the mastery cameras. But anyways, guys, as if this video, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. So I finally did unlock the gold dual sword. Swords. It actually did take a while just because I did hold it off for quite a bit because I really didn't focus on them But I'm actually very glad I got them I mean they do look pretty and especially on the dual swords it makes it look even better But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give this a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel to show your support I appreciate all of it again support on the videos lately have just been insane. Thank you guys so much for that I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. But anyways guys, see you all in the next one